Uh, hello everybody, as you saw, we da died in that, we all wiped. So I stopped recording, and we're starting to record XT. We are just a few mobs in front, we are downing them. I'm getting butchered for being too close up, so I gotta back up a little bit, and should be tucked into that corner, but nobody was pulling, so yeah. Don't cast AoE through these guys. Do not. The aggro will be bouncing around very badly, so just do single target on the skull or in the X for my raid as we mark them. Please mark them for the if you're a tank, please mark them for the casters. Or the just range just or the DPS at that. It's just so much easier because you are not supposed to AoE doing this. But I did, and then I learned after not to AoE. Because it will Bounce around aggro, as you can see. The one guy, white, has aggro, but he shouldn't. Our raid leader basically switched to his tank tune because of um, because our off tank decided to leave, so we switched to his tank tune to be the other off tank. Um, and yeah. Just explain that as much as I can. This is on both sides, left and right. Just down as fast as possible. This is, I believe, part seven. Um, I will be playing a very important role during this boss fight, so I'll explain that while I get to it. This is only eight minutes, but the this boss will be into the next part. It will be. I'm pretty sure of that. So stay tuned for that. Please click it right after to watch the rest of the boss fight before you end up doing this. This is a how to old R slash just me babbling on showing you guys what we're doing and how much we're failing and how not to do it. Um yeah. Pretty easy, pretty self explanatory. You just wanna down the skull then the X as fast as possible. You want your tank to pull them and your off tank if they get off. Pretty easy, they're just like no mobs. I find it funny how some of these mobs are actually harder than the boss bosses. This boss is very easy, but we kind of screwed up because our other, the other person that pulled, played another important role decided to die. Well, he didn't really mean to die, but he did. He was a priest. I wonder why he died. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But you know what? Whatever, we got him be rest and we got it all done. Um, yeah. Sorry about this little mic thing. I had to move my mic around because it's very annoying. Only a 9 minute video. The other part of the video would have made it over to like 12 minutes, which is not good for YouTube, so that's why it's only 9 minutes. But I'll be sure to keep the next video. Next part. Yeah, in the next video. So basically. <laughs> I'm just kind of babbling on. You just got to GPS these guys. Pretty self-explanatory. Apparently, you don't AOE according to these people. You guys might do it differently, whatever. But according to these people, they told me not to AOE. And I've never done this as a caster DPS. I've always done it as a melee DPS. I'm a Death Knight, and utterly failing. So, letting you know right up front. Um, my first time as a caster DPS. Actually, it's not really up front. So, we pull XT. You want to DPS him down. I am one of the major roles in this thing. For phase two, when its heart is exposed, there is a left and a right. Right here, we're gathering around in somewhat of a semicircle. As you can see, the left is literally to my left. Adds spawn out of one of those adds with the first ads we kill. Adds will spawn. You want to kill the bomb bot and it'll explode. The other ads, if you do not, if the bomb bot doesn't explode them, there's a bomb bot and other ads that follow it. A scrap yard or something, something dumb. But if you don't kill the scrappers, they will come up to the boss and they will heal the boss. So make sure you down them when the heart is exposed. All other people that are not doing in a, in a roll like this, you want to down that heart as fast as possible. If you don't down them very fast, you will end up pretty much failing because I think it does a lot of damage. I'm not sure. But yeah, you want to get that heart down as fast as possible. I believe it happens three times in our entire thing. Okay, so basically, what you just casters stay on that boss, or people that are in that major the major role that I'm in, which is a caster. You want to stay on the boss until we get to that point where we need to have you 
down them. I did not use my V-Res on that guy, which was that guy, Adani, a priest. That was our other major role, because I decided because they just said that the mage would just do it, which the mage didn't do a good job. So I thought I was on left and right, and so we B-Res that guy. I was saving my B-Res for a tank or something that was way more important than him. No offense if you're watching this, but um, yeah, pretty easy in my opinion. Basically, um, I'll tell you when his heart's exposed, it'll come up in the middle screen, his heart is exposed now. You'll see what I do. I'll run over here to the right side, because I'm in the right side. You want to mirror this on the other side. Oh, there's something else I didn't explain. So one minute, I'll explain that. You want to kill the bomb bot as fast as possible. Um, I didn't kill him very fast, but... You want to AoE the ads after your, afterwards, if you don't kill him with the bomb bot. Which I believe this time I do. Boom, and then when the elite comes out, you want the tank to grab that thing. Because you will die. I just attacked him because I did not want him to get to the boss because I don't know if he'll kill the boss or not. So I'm getting down very, very fast. Key damage very, 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 very fast. And sorry about that. Um, yeah. So, no, so three things I didn't explain, which it's easier. I'll explain it when I get it, but I'll explain it now as well. You will get a debuff, a light debuff. It's like a light they use on you. You want to stay out of, of if you want to stay away from your party members. Don't need that debuff. Don't go too far away. Stay in range of the healers. Another debuff, you will get like disease or something. You want to stay in the range of the healers. This is kind of like a Nax boss. It's like a rip off of the Nax. A boss in the Nax. In the con construct quarter. If you guys want to link to that, um, ask me. I'll put an annotation up. And you guys can see my video on the Nax qu construct corner, quarter. Not a very long video, it's just one part, so it shouldn't be that bad. But, yeah. These bosses take longer, so it took a while. So I'm just standing here, when I should be on the boss, because the um, the people in the port and roll can down the boss while they are waiting for the ads to spawn. So I go on the boss. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what happens when I get the disease. I'll show you guys me running away. But me not, me, I don't think I do die. I seem to get healed. Hopefully I do. But I won't be surprised if I die. Mm, my luck. Yeah, my luck's not that good. He will do berserk in six minutes. This group, as you can tell, we are new here, so we didn't do that great. He was 15 seconds, five, no, he was three seconds off going berserk. We almost wiped. Because that berserk is a butt to kill. Is a beach. Okay. Excuse my French. No. I don't know how people say, I don't know why people say that. Anyway. But on my screen posted like this. It's just so when the bomb bots come out, I can see them. I'm popping my cooldown as much as I can to kill this boss as fast as possible. But when the shaman actually pops heroism, it is awesome. My starfire is like a one second cast when it's normally three. Suit so was crazy awesome. I was like spamming it. I can see Berserk in one five minutes. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for part number eight, I believe. Um, see you guys in the next part. Once again, when the bomb bots come out, you want to down them if you're in that important role. If not, just down the boss in a semicircle. Or you can stack on the boss on the tanks. But we did it the way of being in a semicircle around the boss. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next part. Berserk in five minutes.